Well, this week, guys, we get stuck into the HZ and get it off the rotisserie. Guys, we're here at the uh, Holden Bar of War. Welcome back to the Cars and Things Restos. Well, uh, this week um, it's time to uh, get it off the rotisserie. Uh, we'll get it on the dolly and we're going to mock up the front guards and get them straight with the doors and uh, get them in uh, high build so they're ready to paint and uh, we'll go from there. We, um, I'll give you an up close look at this guys. What we just noticed, um, and I should have put it on film, um, this top here was sucked right in and didn't line up here and it dropped down and we're just debating what to do and all we did, just open it up brother, all we've done is we thought well we'll just shim it. So what we've done is if you can see we've just got a, a washer undone these bolts we've got a washer in the front washer in the back and we've just shimmed this out now um, that was this is going to be just temporary whether i'm going to put those washers behind the bolts when i bolt it up but i do actually have uh, proper body shims um, back at the workshop so we may just put them in it or we might just put them washers back in it because them them three washers i've slipped in behind there have actually made it spot on so we we'll see what we do there, but if we can see, you, you have a look down here. 
It's fucking spot on. We don't have to do anything there. Yeah, we just got to shake this this guard and uh, finish it off. That's just been. I think we just sprayed one coat of polyester on that, haven't we? No, we haven't done that yet. It's just in epoxy, is it? Yeah. So that's in epoxy. So we've got to put a bit of. It's not quite. There's a little bit of a dent there. So we'll, we'll put a bit of filler in there and a bit down there. Sand all back and get it right. So that guard, very, very happy with. This guard, it needs a bit of work. Look at this. Look at that. So, uh, we've got a little bit of work to do with this one. But we've only just put it on there and just done it up. We haven't tried to manipulate it around yet. So, I did notice this is the one we had to weld the a bottom into it. And I can see, if you can see right in there, that bit that I welded in there is hitting hard up against the body. So that might just need knocking in, probably five or ten mil. And that might bring the whole guard in, I think. So we'll have to pull it off and see if we can do that. All right, we'll keep on locking her up. So uh, just, so what we've done is uh, all the roofs all rub back uh, for, with its final, final cut. So that's straight as. We've just got to do the edges here rub them back and we've got to do the sides and the doors they've all got to be just uh, rubbed back with a with a 600 or 400 what have we got there 400 I think we'll rub them back and um, then we've got to pull all the doors off we're, we're in the process of pinning the doors uh, we pinned the, that side this side's got to be just to have a pin this, this is back door so we'll get that one done and then doors off it and we're going to get all the uh, inner seal uh, or all the door inner door trimmed or whatever you want to call them um, and inside the doors let me just open this door I can get down in here so our plan is to rub all these back uh, take all the doors off it and get all this done in solid get it all painted in solid and inside the uh, uh, inside behind the doors in here we'll get and paint the paint these all uh, as well and then we can bolt it all back up and then we're going to paint the whole shell in one yep got a phone call got to go Bloody we uh, got the knockometer and we've uh, manipulated this door it's a lot better um, than what it was, it was sitting out miles. Uh, we also really got in here and gave that a fair bit more clearance down there. As you can see, you gap through there now, um, which really helped heaps. It's brought it right in. So uh, that's pretty good now. Brother's pretty happy with that. Um, so there's a little spot that's a little bit too far in, so we're going to take the guard off now and, and tap it back out. It's probably got two mil where he's marking it there might be able to see that down there so we're just going to tap that guard back out flat we'll get the hammer and dolly and bring that back out and and uh should be right it should match up nice and sweet there we go so we'll keep on trucking on here uh, getting that straight and uh once we've got them done we'll uh, be able to pull all the doors off it all right so we've got all the uh the guards in the front end bolted onto it um, all this, we got this off a good mate of ours, Johnny Fishwick. Anybody wants anything to do with H series um, sedans or utes or tunnels or anything like that, uh, Johnny Fishwick, he's got everything out there. So go and see him uh, or get hold of him. He's on uh, Facebook and whatnot. Um, so we're playing around with this, trying to get all this lined up, um, get the gaps all, all nice, trying to get the, the bonnet gap. Right, just seeing how we're going. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, the gaps aren't too bad, but we've decided we're going to probably going to do what we did with Brothers Uke with the HX. I think we're going to weld all these up and uh, make it all seamless. Um, so it's all one the whole front's one piece. I think that's where how we're going to go. Uh, we were just talking with it a little bit before, brother and I were talking about it. So I think that's what we're going to do. That's what we did with the uh, 
with the HX Ute and it came up really, really nice. This looks seamless. Um, that's just probably, don't know whether he'll want to weld that up and make that seamless as well. Um, which would be a pain in the ass, but you know what? Doesn't matter, we want it right. So um, we might have to weld this up as well. We thought about doing away with the, uh, the drip rails, but I don't think I would like it. I'm not sure how they do it, whether you've got to weld a piece from there. Oop, sorry, not looking through the camera. Not sure how they do it. I'll have to look into it, but I reckon they must weld a piece from there to there. Otherwise, if you cut it all off back there, you're going to see all the top of the door, and I reckon it'll look quite pox. So, I don't know. We might have to think about that one a bit more. Um, but we just don't want it to be like every other HZ that's out there. We want a little different. That's because we're a little different. Uh, just ask Mick, he'll tell you how different we are. So, anyway, that's what we're doing, that's what we're playing with. Um, so, when brother comes up, I'll have a chat to him, see what we're going to do. Whether we're going to, I reckon we will. I reckon we're going to weld them all up, make it all flush, um, and make it all one piece, the whole front, walk on and off, and... Um, and we'll have to, I think I'm just going to have to talk him in. We're going to have to weld these up as well. And, uh, yeah, bloody compressor. So I'll have to weld them up and uh, sand all that back again. But look, that's all right. That's more here or there. Just a bit more work. Never mind. We'll keep getting into it. Hey, guys. Uh, back into it. Uh, so I just bolted all the um, hinges on for the bonnet and the, the inner guards are all bolted in uh, so we can get all this um, all lined up so we can weld all these up down here on both sides so it's all walk off front um, and when we go to bolt everything back up, it should all go back into place once it's all been welded. Not only that, but we have noticed, uh, we noticed on the one tunnel we just done, um, the same issue we had with Brothers HX Ute, the orange Ute we did. Uh, once we bolted all the guards up and put all the inner guards in and tightened it all up, we got a low spot just here. It just dipped in, just like this, just there. Uh, on both sides, on Brothers Ute, we, uh, Trev can testify to this, he went over and over this about three times, trying to get that right and repainting that guard on the Ute, and we couldn't work out why. Uh, then when we put Jamie's guards on, on the blue one tunnel we just done, exactly the same thing happened. It just went popped in just in there. Just a low spot. And I put all these in and I can actually feel a low spot in there. So it must be something to do when you bolt all your inner guards in, you bolt it all up tight, it must twist the guard or, or something along them lines and it just puts a low spot just in there. Um, and it's a real pain in the ass. So uh, all I can suggest, guys, is when you're doing these, Bolt all your inner guards in it, bolt it up tight, get it where you want, and then start blocking it all back to get rid of that bloody low spot just there. Wouldn't surprise me when we take all these guards and everything off it to paint them, we have a high spot there. I'll bet you. I don't know what it is, it just seems to be on everything we've done, we get low spots just in there. Yep, just there, just there, I can feel it. Anyway, it's, um, it may change it when I weld all these up. So I'm gonna prep all these guards, take all the paint off them, and get ready to stick a bit of weld on it. Righto guys, having a bit of a play with the gaps again. We've just uh, lined the bonnet up. Got a really good gap with the bonnet. We've got a really good gap with the door. I've guarding the door on this side. Uh, and then the equivalent to that. 
Uh, yeah, we're going to weld these up so it won't matter them gaps there. Bonnet lines up pretty good here. Yeah, I can't shut it, sorry guys. Um, only drama is, is, look out brother, this gap here is fucking shocking. Look at the size of it. Um, it's a bit big to be putting any metal filler and um, uh, body filler in there. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to probably go to that line there. We're going to start, I'm going to weld all the way down here to that line just there. And we're going to close it up with a bit of weld. So we'll rip the guard off and I'll do that. Uh, then once that's all, we've got this bit right, we can get stuck to welding all the front off. All right, we'll get stuck into it. Away. Sorry, I didn't film it. Uh, so I've gone in and welded all this edge up down here. Uh, when we put a, push it down, brother, get it in the place, we've got a nice, nice gap there. Once we put some filler over it, oh, once we put some filler over it, and a um, bit fat just there, we might need to trim it back a bit there. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. And should look good once we're finished. Bit of weld on it. So we'll get the grinder on that, we'll grind all that back flat and um, then we'll have to put some fiberglass metal filler in it and shape it all up. So by welding all that up we should, shouldn't crack any of the filler out once it's um, running and, and vibrating because if you just went over and put filler in it this would all move and it'd get a big crack down through there where it joins so by welding it up we eliminate all that eliminate the gap and uh, should make it look good Yeah, it's all welded in, even down in here. So we ran that out with a die grinder and uh, it's, uh, it's come up pretty nice. So it's, uh, it's welded. It's going to need a bit, it's uh, gone in a little bit there. We did have a little bit of a gap there for some reason, so that'll be why. So now what we'll do is we'll wipe some metal filler over that and let that cure overnight and we'll be able to sand that back in the morning. That's pretty... That's pretty good, that's nice, that won't need much at all there. And that one coming up alright? Oh, it will. We'll get, I'll mix up some metal filling air and we'll wipe that in there and see what it looks like. Right. Got it all filled up there with metal filler. So we'll let that uh, go off and we'll come back tomorrow. And we'll uh, sand all that back, block it all back nice and flat. And then we can put some filler in it and uh, shape it and... I've got to put some filler in here where the badge was. I knocked out the best I could, so I'll have to put some in there. And it should come up sweet. All right, just uh, uh, sanded all the uh, metal filler back. Nice and uh, flat. Shouldn't need too much uh, filler in it. So, it's pretty good. Oh, that's a little bit feel that so I might sand that back by hand but it's uh, definitely nice and smooth so and that's how we want it just like the same so 
Oops, sorry, again, not looking through the camera. So it feels nice and smooth, so it shouldn't need too much filler in it. So that fiberglass should be pretty well strong enough to bond all that, get into that world and stay there. Should be right, I'll fill her up with a filler and uh, I'll sand that back. We are uh, smashed some uh, filler in. Got there, we're just letting that go off. It's we're knocking off now, so we've got to sand that back tomorrow. Um, that I'll have to sand the gap right back to metal because the gap's perfect through to metal. So um, we'll sand that. Otherwise, what happens when you open the door? It hits the door hits the inside of that panel. So we've got to go right back to metal there. Uh, the front's come up really nice. I just had to put a little bit more filler. Just in the corner there, we whacked a heap on there so we can sand that back. So it's come up really, really nice. So there's our seamless join. Uh, it's looking good. We've whacked a little bit of filler in the front. This one here has come up really nice. So very, very happy with it. And this one here, we've got to give it another hit, but it's coming up pretty good as well. So tomorrow we'll uh, we'll sand all that back, and then I think she's ready for the uh, polyester. We'll give it a hit of polyester. I'll probably come back to about here, I reckon, with the polyester. I'll just come back over here, and we'll we'll block sand it back. Or we'll probably because that door's been already been done, so it really is pretty good. So we just got to get the join, but it will look as good as. These ones, I think we can get it, the camera there. That's what these ones here are going to be looking like. It's going to be flat as and look perfect right down the side of the car. A lot of work, but you know what? It's going to be all worth it in the end. It's going to be sweet. All right, keep tracking on. Okay, we just got a coat of. Um, polyester on her it's all coming up it's looking pretty straight there's only one coat on there so we'll just um put some guide coat on that in the morning rub it back and find all the highs and lows hopefully there's not too many and then we'll probably put two good thick coats of polyester on it and uh, get the uh uh the sanders out the these things here what do we call them splines get the splines out and uh, that's them there. And we'll give it all a decent rub back and uh, it should be pretty well straight. And then hopefully we can put some uh, uh, bloody high fill on it. And then she's uh, getting close. We'll probably want to put three coats of high fill on it, won't we? And then it should be ready for paint. So... It's been a bit drawn out, the uh, front of this, we've had a bit on. So we've only been up here a few hours a day. There's a little bit, of, bit here and there. So uh, anyway, hopefully next week we'll get some paint on it. We'll see how we go. I'm filming it now. It's notorious for fucking being wavy. So what are we doing? We're going to wave this right back. We don't want any filler. In the line. In that. In this bit here. Right back we back. want it right back to the, the, the metal. metal because that's the shape. It's got to be, it's pretty flat. So actually it's a little bit low there actually. It is, it is low there. But um, so there'll be a little bit in it, but we'll, uh, we want, and that there, that's that bloody, that dent you get in them, right there. Every time you bolt them up, you bolt the inner guards in, you get a low spot there. So you can see we've rubbed it all back. That's just one coat of polyester. Put the, uh, our uh, guide coat on it, that stuff, that body works guide coat. Um, we really just wanted to see where all the lows were and you can really see them. We found them. So now what we'll do is we're going to mix up some uh, dolphin glaze and put some dolphin glaze because it's not, it's not real, they're not really deep, they're just like bloody probably half a mil deep. You can see where we've just gone through the metal. I want to be right back here, so 
We'll put some dolphin glades in it and give it a, a hit with epoxy and uh, give it another hit with um, the polyester. Probably three coats of polyester this time and it sh will probably take most of it off but um, it should be virtually straight when we're finished. Right, you feel that, you can feel a few little waves in it. So we've got to keep that swage line that goes right through there. I mean, you could just bog it up and hit, the, hit it with a speed file, but that... A lot of people do that. Yeah. They've got them dead flat. That looks, That's wrong, though. It looks fucking... It look, doesn't look right. Original. That comes up through the door. You can see it from way back here. It comes right up starts, through the door. Starts here. It comes right up through here. And it starts about here. And goes up. And goes up through there. And it's a prick to get right. These are... This is the worst part about fucking eight series is making sure we get these right and we get this line through here one hundred percent right. And we get these swave lines right and then because uh, when you paint it you see it. You'll see that in the paint. As you said, a lot of people just go, ah, oh, too bad, just smear bulb flatten it straight off and it's just a square guard and it doesn't look right so we'll, we'll go we'll right back already. right back so and we'll put bugger oil filler in there only filler we're going to have in there is in these low spots the which we'll see here where the fucking pot rivets were for the the trim the this trim. here is a bastard it's it's not bad though because there's the metal there and it's nearly out so probably spray filler will feel that Money out low there. Yep. Alright. Not bad. Still a bit ripply. Yeah, I'll be able to get that out though. Because we go to the long blocks when we start high building it. Which will be next, I reckon. So it's looking pretty good. Not many cut throughs, there's a couple. Um, we had a low spot just here. Oh geez, brother, you put a fair bit in there. We'll have to rub nearly all that out. It wasn't that big. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah but well, anyway. You've got to rub it off. You can see the fucking. There was a little bit in the bottom of the door there, I noticed. So, it'll be right. So, we'll rub all that uh, dolphin glaze back in a minute when it's dried. I need to get it out of there. And then I reckon it's ready for its first high build, which I'll probably put three coats of high build on, I think, straight up. And uh, then we'll rub that back and then we'll give it one more coat of high build after that and we're going to rub the whole car back then with uh, 400. It's got to be done and then, um, then it's getting close to paint. Righto. Rightio. Uh, last night before I went home, I put three coats of uh, uh, high build on it. Uh, so we've rubbed the back. We've got a couple of cut throughs, not too many. Um, but it's pretty, pretty straight. We've got it uh, really straight. So now I've just mixed up 500 mils of high build again. So I'm going to go, I was going to do one coat, but I reckon I'll get two coats with the amount of high build I've got there. So um, that's where we'll be at. That'll get done. And that will be the last one. So we're pretty happy, it's pretty straight. So what we'll do is once that's all uh, uh, painted and dried off, um, brother's just repairing the back here a bit we, underneath there. It's just skim coating the, uh, beaver. the beaver panel there. Just make it nice and, nice and smooth, something we forgot. Um, we didn't do it was had a little bit of a wolf in it wasn't bad about probably half a mil or so but I thought frigate well um, we want it right so we've just uh, he's just skim coating that so I'll get uh, a lick of paint on this we'll let it dry off and then we'll be probably re ripping the front end off it and put it in it uh, separating it ripping it apart and uh, taking all the doors off it and uh, We'll uh, we've got to do the firewall, uh, just got to rub that back and finish doing that beaver panel. And uh, we'll probably, hopefully, well, I, I reckon that'll be it for this episode. Um, 
So that'll be ready for paint. Um, so the next episode will be um, of us uh, getting uh, all the jams painted um, inside the doors. We'll do that um, inside the boot and the uh, uh, firewall. We'll be doing that in a, a solid colour. And um, then we'll uh, put all the doors and everything back on it. All the doors are pinned. I think I, you saw me pinned all the doors. So they're all got... Um, let's just open the door up here. They're all... Uh, oh, well, I haven't done these ones. But I have done them ones there. See, they've got little roll pins in them. So I'll have to drill these still. And um, pin them. And I've still got to pin drill them and pin them so I'll do them I'll pull the doors off off of from here and I'll pin all them or drill all these front ones because they've got to come off so I can drill them so I'll do that before we pull it apart um, other than that it's uh, it's getting there okay well I'm just about to whack that last coat on on the front end um, but that'll probably do us for this episode so thanks for coming along and watching um, really appreciate it. Give us a comment on what you think about how we're going so far, and um, hopefully, we'll uh, next episode we'll be uh, smacking some paint on. We'll see how we go. Right, hey, well, don't forget to jump on and subscribe, and uh, hit the bell, share it with your friends, and uh, we'll see you next time. Next, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. up ready for a squirt cheeky low <laughs> Switch, do you know how that's working in it? The, the power switch is working again in it. Look at that. It's first first trip out. See what she does. Got away, is it? Yep.